basketball oh, thing today. And, and he just got his first medal. He just got his first medal. Oh, let's go. Oh, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah, so proud papa right here, proud papa. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thank That's you, sir. Good. Thank you, sir. All right. Daddy, Daddy better get back to work now. Yeah, he ready. He, he focused. He put, focused. Put your analyst hat on. We'll look at that later. That was that's that's cute. First medal, not even three years old. He got more medals than me already. <laughs> Meantime, it's Chiba to the crib. We'll miss it. Bajrab Suk, hand it over. Kyle, it's your Yeah. Do you feel that Thailand could surprise everyone and shock Japan? Um. Yeah, I, I do. I do think this this matchup is fairly even. I, I think Japan had the bigger advantage with Kurobayashi on the inside. I think a lot of times games are decided by an X factor, a player that's just that's hard to stop. They can wreck shop all by themselves. Right. I think Japan had that, but I've seen Thailand at this event for several years, and they always seem to field teams that find a way to win. Yeah, scrappy. They're, They're scrappy, scrappy, and they know how to play. Oh! I'm sorry to interrupt you, but that's the craziest assist of the tournament. No look behind the head. Wow. I didn't even see it. I know. That's why I had to interrupt you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man, Faruqi. Ferocious. <laughs> We're going to get to see that again, oh. apparently. And she's going for the back-to-back -back assist, but he got spoiled. Oh, man. And oh. Thailand. Udom Suk knocks down the two. Thailand up by two. Oh, Canada. Oh, oh, oh. oh, don't hate the play. I hate the game. Sweet left hand. But I, I guess we're going to get a look at the Faruqi. Di oh, this is a sick dish. That got food poisoning on it. <laughs> Keep away oh, from that food. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was sick. 3-3. Three, three. Not sicker than the one eating it. Little <laughs> soup. <laughs> we'll miss that two attempt. But maybe she's the X Factor for Thailand in the same way that I talk about Kurobayashi for Japan. He seems to have that, that ability. I saw Prajrup Spook, Prajrup Suk at this event last year, as well as uh, Bunsi Prom. Screen. Oh, push to get open. I believe that's more of the push that was a call for the foul. Traveling. They're watching those feet very closely on the inbound. Haruki will open the possession for Japan. Back over to her. Haruki. Let's see what other dimes she's got. In yep, the that's first. a travel. Wow. And that's a shame. That's beautiful because she would have had one of the nice, nastiest highlight of the day, knocking down that two right after. Nice, yeah. I was, can I call it a nice jab step if it's a travel? Almost a nice jab step. Yes. Oh, kind of a wild shot attempt there. Now the mismatch, wide open shot. Chiba tastes the rainbow. Sweet. Almost hit the ceiling. Such a trajectory. It's like a rock, like a comet coming uh, 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 in. Oh, uh, uh, man. Uh, uh, uh. What's going on with the jabs, man? They're like going at each other with the... All I heard was Shifted. the crowd say, oh. And then, ooh. ooh. And then, boo, but she missed it. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have to stop with those travel calls. Girls, clean up that pivot foot. Can't be jumping and hoppy, bunny hopping like this. Five, three. Chiba on the rainbow. This is it. There's a foul over the back. Um, 
Kuroshiba was attempting the shot. Second on Thailand, Kuroshiba shoots one. Shooting straight. Udomsuk. Udomsuk turns around. That's a tough shot. Good defense. Yeah, got to credit Japan for locking in. Chiba with the heads. He stop and go. Kirabayashi back over to Chiba. Chiba steps through. Forces one up. Late in the shot clock, no choice. Make a substitution. Chiba checks out. Rumsuk has that pass taken away. It's Furuki. Will let one go. Didn't have the right trajectory. It's Kirabayashi hustles it down. And leads to a layup. So credit Kirabayashi for hustling that down. Put forth that extra effort, and Kaneda able to scoop it and score. 6 3 Japan. Nice move. Great finish. The spin, the control. And Furuki almost got in trouble stopping her dribble. Furuki takes her move. Thailand in the hunt. Udomsu, the step back. Oh, hey. she had some space hey. in the relationship. <laughs> she was feeling smothered. So hit the two. Did I hear a whistle as well? Foul call on the box out. You'll see right there. Because uh. when she went to try to get the, go to the rebound, because you'll see a lot in 3x3 players that follow their own shot. Because sometimes, and most of the times, people get caught slipping. After contesting the shot, they kind of stop playing. And since you don't make all the shots that you take, many times in 3x3, you can get your own rebound. And as she tried to box out, she fouled. Wow. So that is unique. That, that too, of course, does count. And Thailand recovers possession. And Thailand had possession as well. So things could not have gone much better for Thailand as they've evened this game at six apiece. Not the best execution right here. Turnover. Chiba. She almost went too fast for her own good. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Just couldn't press the brakes at all. Oh, we don't see. Like her game a lot. Yeah. She's got to get some, some help. Two oh. ball, corner pocket. She's a 3x3 shark. And the trajectory on those shots, Kyle, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Like in those old cartoons, Looney Tunes, you can hear the sound like for an hour. <laughs> Coyote falling from the yeah. <laughs> from the canyon. Oh, we got the same references. This is not fair. <laughs> Wiley Coyote. Yes, sir. And Roadrunner. Yeah. Thailand not going anywhere. 8-8. Eight, eight. You're right. Chiba quicker than your first time. 9-8. So <laughs> gets called for three in the key. I don't know why Angelo's up here laughing. He can't even give analysis because he, I don't. Security. Security. Please. Come get this man. <laughs> Come get this man, please. <laughs> Chiba. 
with the quickness again. Ooh, that was the right idea, but the poor execution. Bumsy Prom fade the fake the pass and missed the shot. Kaneda quickly over to Chiba down low. Kira Bayashi. They haven't been able to find this option quite enough this game, but they're still in front by two. Kira Bayashi held her ground, but has a tough time guarding those smaller, quicker players. Chiba stops up from the free throw line. Nothing happening. Close game still. Uh oh, that one mishandled. That's going to cost him a few seconds in the shot clock. Long attempt. Out of bounds. We're past the midway point. 4.54 exactly left. And Japan lead it. 10 zip. Got a chance to go 2 0 out of this group. Thailand could take, take the lead with a win here. There is a sense right now that Japan pressed on that, that next level, next level focus on defense the past two minutes, and Thailand has, an, has had a hard time responding to that lockdown defense. They did until now. Little Sook continues to get to the rack. Turning the corner, has he? Kuruki to Kaneda, Kaneda. It was almost another bomb, but just a little bit long. Yudonsuk, up fake, step back, get over here. She did a scorpion on her. Get over here. Finish her. <laughs> Finish her. Fatality. <laughs> For sure. That's a great highlight, though. <laughs> And I like the way she celebrated, like just little fist, uh, fist clinch. Yes, good shot, but staying within this, this momentum. There you go. Look how much space she created. That was a whole galaxy. 11-10, Faruqi. That one comes out of orbit. And right now. Doesn't find his mark. Right now, it's Japan that is struggling to uh, contain. Rati Yakorn, Udumsuk, just going to work and willing her team into the lead. What a great performance. She's doing it in all kinds of ways. We saw her post up, finishing. We saw her create space. And, oh, you saw, you, saw that, you saw that replay right there? That was the pass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw the pick. Yeah, you missed it earlier. <laughs> I don't know what you was doing. But you are here to call the games, right? Why would you not be looking at the actual? <laughs> you must have dropped your pen or something. I think that's what I did. I was picking. No, no, you were organizing your files, which. Oh, yeah, I was getting my papers ready for right, the. Right, yeah. exactly. So. You know what happens sometimes. But that's the reason I'm here, just to have your back. Thank you, sir. Like G Money, I'm, I'm, I'm my brother's keeper. <laughs> we, we got the throwback reference. We got more throwback references than we can count. Kiribayashi shooting one. The reason I didn't see that is because I was trying to use your. My you adapter? Go. Yeah. Man. Man, thank you. Okay. Of course, I mean, I, I, let the, I let the adapter here on display just for you, sir. Thank you. When you need it back, let me know. Well, since I'm a, I'm a guy that anticipates, I have to. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, by the way, both these teams going to the quarterfinals. This is for first place in the group. Oh, another step back. That one off the mark. Oh, it's a call. Can't get it to go either. Chiba, cross right to left. Step back, two-handed release. Still no good. And uh, as a reminder, pool C and pool A will cross. Great back door. Who else? Excellent. Who else? Excellent. Beautiful spin to get free. Recognition to make the pass to begin with. Right on the money. And Udom Suk puts it up and in.
Well, you want the craziest stat for this game, Kyle? Sure, give it to me. She got 10 out of 12 points. Udumsuk? Yes. 10 out of 12. She's on a killing spree. I, th I figured she, I thought she had maybe eight. I knew she was playing well. But the way 10 she, of 12? <laughs> the way she plays, it feels like she has 12 out of 12. That's true. So reminder, Pool C and Pool A will cross in the quarterfinals, which means the winner of this game will play against Chinese Taipei, and the loser will be matched up with China. With China. Oh, runner is no good. Great box out. Furuki earning position back for Japan. Well, I think I, I think you might have got that one. Isn't wrong. that isn't that pussy? No. It's it's B B and D that cross right, and right. A and, and C A and C right. So the winner of this game very likely well oh no there is no no. Oh Japan talent is B yes I thought they yes. were C my bad. So so it's going to be Australia or New Zealand. Well, this is very meaningful for whoever wins it. If you see what I'm trying to say. Yes. <laughs> but uh, it'll be Australia or New Zealand. Still one more game between Australia and India. But I, I think I'm willing to go ahead and say that India is not going to beat Australia, uh, not with three players. So Australia are very likely going to go two and zero. New Zealand will get the second spot out of D, and end up playing the number one from B. Right. And the number one from B is uh, well, we'll find out who that's going to be. It won't be Iran because they lost to both Japan and Thailand. Right. So we're we're going to find out right here. Not saying that playing against New Zealand is going to be a, a walk in the park. Far from it. But after what you've seen right now, which one would you want? <laughs> you want to avoid. You want to avoid Australia as By long as you can. As long as you can. As, as as long as you can. You don't want to invite that matchup, especially in the quarterfinals. No. Udum Sook can't add to her personal scoring spree. But the first free throw missed. Second opportunity. She will can it. Ties the game at 13. 11 out of 13 points, Kyle. Offensive foul. Udom Suk in her bag. Udom Suk drops that. Oh. This woman has been delivering more than a midwife. 14 13. And she's got 12 of Thailand's 14. Oh. <laughs> Wait a Chiba. minute. Chiba. She's going to hit the projectors if she keeps shooting that high. We need the lights. <laughs> She dropped oh. it out of the sky. It might be the most impressive individual scoring outing that I've seen in the women's bracket. They need to call reinforcements. They need some milk. They need some help. Olivia Pope, somebody. They cannot stop Udumsu. That's the point. Chiba. Gives it up. Kurobayashi right back. Oh, that was a yep. tough, tough screen. Surely has. Oh, yeah. You don't want to give too much. Well, that was long, long dapa. Under a minute. And now, both teams. Could avoid Australia. 
in the quarterfinals. That's really what this is about. It really is. A battle to avoid the Aussies. And finish with a perfect record. In, in the quarterfinals. Up fake. Oh, I'm sick. And Japan cannot afford to foul any longer. Oh! Counted plus the foul. Japan take a one point lead with 37 seconds left. And timeout on the floor. Japan cannot afford to foul by any means necessary. Double bonus point pending over their heads. But Thailand still has both the time and the talent to either send this game to overtime potentially or even steal it away. Not even steal it, take it away from Japan because it's been a very even battle. No one would steal anything from anybody. It's all about taking what you think and believe is yours. Wow. The energy in this place has been great all day long. We are heading down the final stretch of the, of the last day of pool play. And just a couple more games left to solidify the quarterfinal bracket. We got 36 seconds left in this one. And still no idea on who's gonna come out victorious. The two teams that are quarterfinal bound. But one of these two teams is gonna be bound to play Australia. Chiba. Whoa. Don't you got insurance? She crashes to the ground on the drive. A little bit wild. Gives up the possession to Thailand. Who could tie or take the lead? Udon Suk down to the post office. Who is this woman? The only post office I know that's open on, on Saturday until 9 p.m. Step back, two on the way. Tie game at 16. The ball. Three to shoot. Montapa, no, we're gonna go to overtime. And everybody's pleased in the stands because they want to make it last. I'll tell you this, it's been such an even matchup. Somehow, would you expect it to not go to overtime? They've been going back and forth, trading baskets. Only fitting, only, only fitting. fitting. They're tired. Dead tired. So as we go to OT, remind you that the first to score two points wins. After this, we're going to have a pretty explosive game in the men's bracket, Kyle. Well, we, I hope we do. Japan and the Philippines going at each other. Whoever loses is out, so you know it's going to be explosive. Bayashi going for the one. Japan assume the lead. Great execution, not rushing to try to get a two. Or if you can get a layup. Oh! Up top. There goes that woman! Oh my, what a sook. She just barely missed it. Faruki to the corner, Kaneda! Game! 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 Japan, get it done in overtime. They stay undefeated. They will get the top slot out of women's pool B and will likely face New Zealand in the quarterfinals, while Thailand is gonna have to tangle with, very likely, Australia. 19 
16, the final in OT of a thriller.